how's it going everyone? The Wadman here and welcome back again to uh, Black Sad Under the Skin. Uh okay, that guy looks angry and I am too because I don't have a clue where to go now. If you think that in every video I'm gonna search in Google to try to figure out where to go next, you're totally right. But this time I didn't. Uh, I wanna try to figure things out by myself. I don't know if it seems like I can guess one more thing, but I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know, maybe... This? No. Um, I know this is painful to watch because I'm really dumb and uh, I'm trying to figure things out. But maybe, maybe the, the, the rhino having sex with this no I mean it's just obvious conclusions but I don't know uh, check spanner in trash belongs to Yale how about this and this no 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 uh, I got it I got it I got it I got it uh, um, where is it no So the thing of the um, the cheek it just disappeared, right? And this? No. Ah! I'm gonna cut this part just so you guys don't have to suffer with me, and I'll return as soon as I figure this out. I got it! I got it! I got it! What if Mary's birthday is the combination to the safe? So... I got a new deduction? Ah, stop giving me that! It's just a pain in the ass! Here... And here... Hey! Okay, we got a clue. Man, I'm, I'm I'm getting good. I'm getting good. I'm I'm becoming the most efficient detective ever. I've been playing this game for a while, and I feel this game needs some action, some punches, some gunfights, something. I hope we get that uh, now that we're figuring things out. But I can't believe you, John Black said, had to go to all those uh, clues and stuff just to figure things out. I did it from the first time I saw the information. Yes. Yes. Uh. I need to search your office. Go on. Yeah, I don't care if she's feeling better. She's got a great booty, but she's an asshole. And there it was. Mary's birthday. A week prior to that very day. Okay, now let's try the combination. There we go. Business insurance policy. A few bucks, just petty cash. Last will testament. Oh, this is interesting. I don't care about the gun. I mean, you open the safe. Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Can you tell me what it says? All right. 
I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me, except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. Congrats, I I'm not gonna say that. Thanks for the info. All right. All right. Thanks. I'm gonna congratulate her because her father was murdered. Nah. Oh. Let's see if we missed something here. Let's check the gun. Hmm. I never would have taken Dunn for a gun owner. Maybe he felt he was in danger. So now we know that, uh, what do we do now? Uh... I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far, it looks like your standard small business policy. Okay, she's not gonna tell me anything. Is there something I should check out? No. You see, I've got this friend. He's a journalist, and, uh... The thing is... Well... Nah. On second thought, forget I said anything. I see. Quick to forget your friends. Mm. Dunce will. There's something I never asked you about your father's will. Nah. Well, that, that, that's right. the weirdest thing. Thanks. Uh, it, uh, sometimes the conversations have no correlation with each other. Uh... I think I know who had your mother's ring. You do? Mary Purnell. I think she was in love with your father. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, she's angry. Yeah. You failed to keep very secret, I'm an asshole. Eh, uh, well, I don't think she's gonna kill her. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should take my car and drive somewhere else. I'd prefer a yellow Cadillac, but I can't complain. See, I hate this about this game. I don't know where to go next. What's in those papers you're going through? Red tape. Great. If you find something, please let me know. I thought you were the detective. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Asshole. What can you tell me about Jake? I thought you were friends. Guess I was wrong. He and my father were friends, so don't go down that road. There's something I never asked you about your father's will. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So, what do we do now? Where do we go? Please give me a... What the fuck? What the... What, 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 what is going on with my head? Good... <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Look at that! Okay. That was creepy. Um... Yeah. Um... Uh, I'm gonna try to go to the restaurant and see if something happens. I'm gonna cut the video here. Uh, what is wrong with his head? Why 
are you, what, what are you looking at? Do you like the gorilla? You wanna say hi to him again? Are you in love? Did you know Joe Dunn had a gun in his safe? No way, man. He hated firearms. Although... When Bobby Yale was a teenager, he went through a crazy phase. Even dropped out of the gym and joined the gang. Nothing serious. Early one morning, he broke in the gym. Joe was already here and caught him red-handed. Bobby pointed the gun at Dunn and ordered him to open the safe. So... Joe opened it and asked Bobby to put the gun aside, leave the gang, and start boxing again. I got here five minutes later and found Bobby crying like a baby in Joe's arms. Then he just stood up and put on his gloves. Oh, okay. I found an empty wine bottle on the rooftop. Did Joe Dunn drink? Uh, only for a while, back when his wife died. But eventually he quit. After that, he'd only drink on special occasions. So maybe he proposed to her. Oh. I, I, I'm gonna go talk to that girl again. I don't know. Maybe she remembered something. And here we are. See, so yeah, it was fast. Let's see if this girl remembered something. Huh. I know you're hiding something. What? You know what? You're the only woman who ever called Dunn Joey. Except his late wife. Oh. My goodness. I... I can't talk here. My shift is over in 10 minutes. Can you wait a while? Can I get a refill over here, Mary? Coming right up. Man, I'm so cool. I just took a cigarette and I'm just like, okay, baby, I'll wait for you 10 minutes, but nothing else. Don't try anything fishy. Mary Purnell, the angel Joe Dunn found in his golden years. We've been seeing each other for almost two years. It all started with, well, weekdays I start cleaning the gym at dawn, before my shift at the diner. Joey always came in early, just a little after I got there. He used to say it was the best time for the worst task of the day. Oh, I know exactly what he meant. Worked out first thing, huh? Oh, no. He used to say that showing his boxers how to fight was exercise enough. Paperwork. He just hated it. But that was just him. Instead of putting off the things he couldn't stand, he did them as soon as possible. One morning, he saw me crying. I was having a rough day and... to cheer you up he tried to make you smile he pointed at the coffee machine you need a cup of joe and some fresh air that was the first of many cups on the rooftop he seduced you which is where dunn seduced you that word is a bit too much mr blacksad but yes you might be too young to understand this but real love has little to do with seduction one day we realized those rooftop coffees were the best part of our day. So we began to spend more time together. But you never told anyone. You should have told Sonia... Uh, why the secret? Why did you keep it secret? For Sonia's sake. 
She and Joey drifted apart after her mother's death. He was afraid that our relationship would only make matters worse. Until one day, on the rooftop, we realized just how serious our relationship was, and we decided to turn those moments into a lifetime. Uh, he proposed. So, he asked you to marry him? Yes, of course. He gave me the wedding ring, and we decided to tell the world. He said he needed to share that happiness with his little girl. Turns out, he wasn't that happy after all. Oh. What about you? How did you feel about telling Sonya? Maybe you already she noticed knew. I have a slight cold. I really should be heading home. Thanks for sharing all that with me. Take care. I lost my scarf a while back. Not sure where. And now, if you'll excuse me, that's my bus stop. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Black. Right. I haven't seen a scarf. Mm, weird. But she knew they were engaged. I bet... I mean... Mary has a cold. Okay. Um, she knew that they were engaged, and when I, when when she saw the ring, she acted like she didn't know where it came from. That bitch. Okay, Miss. I think we we need to talk. Did you get along with Bobby Yale? Uh... <sighs> okay. Forget it. I wouldn't give a damn about him if it weren't for this stupid Jim his stupid fight is supposed to save. Happy? Okay. What do you think about Mary? The cleaning lady. Can't say. I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Why is she keeps acting like she doesn't know about her father and the engagement? Okay, can I take the car now, or maybe I should call uh, the Weasel weekly? Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can call him. Otherwise, I'm gonna try to get in my car and get somewhere else. What the hell? Uh, game, are you okay? You're acting weird. Uh. You're gonna like what I have to tell you about the Dunn case. Dunn and the Jim's cleaning lady were about to get married. Great. Call what's news. They'll know what to do with such an incredibly interesting piece of information. The combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced, but I might have something for you. Ooh, tell me, tell me. Life is off and off key, like a bad song. The notes come together but feel flat, unable to create anything resembling music. And yet, there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely in our hands.
You look tired, John. I was born to, I'm a cat. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just the way we cats are. Well, I can't help but be glad to see you. Yep, I'm beat. I'm starving. Just got back from the annual police medical. Not only did I have to fast, but I also had to chug two enormous glasses of water. John, you all right? I've had better days, and I'll have them again, I hope. We both deserve to. The thing is, I'd love to help you out with this case, but I can't. You know I work for the state of New York. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. Even if it was lying on top of this table. You said you were starving. Why don't you go to the counter and order something? Hmm? Yeah. Sure. Good idea. If you'll excuse me. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. It was just lying here while he's ordering food. Suicide. Hmm. Okay, we know that. External findings. Violent asphyxia caused by a rub around the neck. The neck pressure for rings mark around. Four ring shape marks. Okay, caused by the hmm. rope. Okay, we know that. Uh, shallow and slightly scrap of knuckles and subject's right hand. Probably caused by recent trauma. Oh. Interesting. Internal findings. No internal autopsy was performed since external evidence seems sufficiently conclusive. Okay. Now that I think of it, I better eat at home. It's healthier. Thanks. Truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before, but now. Please. Promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I like to think we're not just vigilantes. Sure, you can trust me. I give you my word. All right. In any case, keep me posted, will you? I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna throw my life Friend, away with. You can count on it. Take care, John. Sometimes you gotta do what you As gotta always, do. always, Smirnoff had given me new, potentially relevant information. Not to mention second thoughts. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. Oh, I got new things. Hmm. Let's see if I can do it fast. Uh... What is this? When Don die, his knuckles were shallow. Shallow. Okay. Maybe he was strangled with this thing. These two things relate. Okay. So about this and this. Eh. Okay, I got one. All right. Dunn punched a paint can, but why? Wasn't he calm and composed? Okay, we 
still got one more to go. Uh, and he was too short to kill himself. Yeah. Hmm. I'm much taller than Dunn, and I can barely reach the noose. There's no way Dunn hanged himself. Not on his own, at least. So someone hanged him like a piñata. Hey, big guy. I keep training. You got no information. So what now? Oh, I got a new conclusion. Okay. If you had a motive to kill Dunn, but you certainly had the murder weapon. Ooh, he got killed by his own boxer? That sucks, man. So I, I should go to Bobby L's house now. But I don't know where he lives. I was like this kind of. Uh, Solving mystery games, they, they really make you think about stuff and you learn to see things from different perspectives. Like, I, I think in real life it would be a really suck detective. So I don't think I can figure things out like this. Like, I can't. Just turned off the grill. You all got about 25 seconds to order your last burger before it goes cold, you bastards! Hey, if it isn't Miss, I'm so sorry! Well, I'm sorry too, because we ran out of sissy menus. Your dad and brothers ate them all. So, you got anything to say to Sam, little kitty? I wanna kick your ass. You see this fist? I used it to knock down a rhinoceros today. But you know what? I've got another one right here. And it's jealous of its twin. Okay, okay, just kidding. Relax. Uh -huh. What about a free burger? That sounds good. Just don't spit on it. I was tired of that guy. He needed to be put in his place, you know? Sometimes you gotta face the bullies. I have to admit, I was hoping to get something in return for that first hamburger. But now I just, I don't really know why I brought this. The cynics would say I did it all out of selfishness. Just to feel better about myself. Who cares? I really thought it was leading me to someone. Or somewhere. But I don't know what to do now. I'm completely and honestly lost. Maybe I have to check the locker again? Or something here.
This is so weird, guys. There must be something else we haven't seen here. The racist brain is so full of hatred that there's no space for trifles such as common sense or, say, spelling. But this most cultured writer spotted the error and attempted to correct it, not sure what to make of the outcome. Smells like paint. Arthur Tucker. Oh, so they were racist. Ah, that, how can you be racist Bastards. if everyone is a different animal? What the fuck? The proud South. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I got a new thing, but I, I, I want to check this first. Of course. Empty. Okay, I got a new clue. Arthur Tucker painted the racial slur on Yale's locker. Yeah, I don't know what that was good for, but okay. I solved that mystery. Did I just use the phone and put it back? <laughs> okay, uh, the game is breaking, but uh, I think that's it. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I don't think there's anything else I should check out. Maybe I need to make some new conclusions, but um, I I'll, I'll use my detective skills to figure things out, you know? As I always do. I hope you're having fun. The case is getting really, really amazing. And I think on the next episode, we're going to have some good old action. So I'll see you guys next time. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. Just 19 more subs and we're reaching the first 100. And that will make me really happy. I love you all. See you next time. Until then, the white man out.